po itong uh, mga katumbas. So, sign is your Y coordinate. Cosine is your X coordinate. Tangent is uh, Y over X kasi meron tayong so katawa, di ba? And then, if you get the inverse or the reciprocal of sine, uh, we have 1 over, uh, we have cosecant which is 1 over Y. And then, cosine, ang kabaligtaran naman ni cosine is Second. And second is, siyempre, sa principal ni x, that's 1 over x. And lastly, kabaligtaran ni tangent is cotangent, which is x over y. Okay? O, ulitin natin ha. Grade 9 lesson to. Grade 9 third quarter, I think. Meron tayong 6 circular functions. Ang tawag niya dati, 6 trigonometric functions. You have sine. At ang sine represents your y coordinate, cosine and tangent. Cosine represents your x coordinate, tangent represents your y over x. And then it is a procal ni sine is cosecant. Sine is cosecant. That is 1 over y. Tapos po si cosine, kabaligtaran naman niya is si second. So that's 1 over x. Lastly, tangent ang kabaligtaran niya ay very obvious cotangent then reciprocal of this big sabihin baligtad rin ang numerator and denominator we have x over y okay okay so kindly take a screenshot of this i'll be moving the slide in 4 3 2 1 kindly number next so meron po tayong signs ng coordinates sa mga quadrants. At na-review na rin to natin last week. Kaso, para lang po sure tayo na um, ano to, naaalala ninyo. So, let's have a quick review of the signs. These are your quadrants. And in quadrant 1, both uh, x and y are positive. In quadrant 2, you have your negative x value kasi this is already the negative portion of your x-axis. And then, positive c, y, kasi nasa taas pa. Ito, ito, ito. Positive numbers to, ba? Okay. Next, kapag quadrant 3, ano naman ang sign kapag quadrant 3, Dryzen? Ano? Positive, negative. Hello, quadrant 3, dito, dito. Negative, negative. Okay, very good. We have negative, negative. And last, kapag quadrant 4, Jared? Positive, negative. Bro. Okay, we have positive, negative naman. Very good. So, remember these, ha? We will be using these kasi in identifying the signs of your, um, what do you call that? Of the different trigonometric or circular functions. So, how do you remember the signs? We use this mnemonic. Mnemonic ang tawag dito, di ba? All, uh, here in quadrant 1, all are positive. Kasi both your x and your y uh, are positive. So, quadrant 1, A, all. Quadrant 2, sign is positive. Ayan, ang y coordinate mo naman ay positive. Eh, di ba? Y is sign sa representation. So, this time, sign is positive. Susunod, tangent is positive. Bakit tangent is positive? Ang coordinates ng... Ay, mali yung animation. Ang coordinates ng quadrant 3 ay negative-negative. Pero bakit positive si tangent according to this mnemonics? Uh, let's ask... Mm, Eric, mm, sige, sige. Go ahead. Kasi po, pag pinagsawi yung dalawang negative, positive po. Very good. Exactly. Tangent is y over x, di ba? And this is your y and this is your x. So, that means you have negative divided by a negative number. Kaya magpa-positive siya. Kaya positive po si tangent dito. Okay? 
or para hindi ka na ma-stress sa ganun, tama po yun ha, para hindi ka na ma-stress sa ganun, tandaan mo na lang na pag quadrant 3, tangent is positive. And lastly, quadrant 4, cosine is positive kasi positive itong x-coordinate natin. Okay? Again, how to remember the signs? You just remember na kapag ang angle mo nasa quadrant 1, all of your uh, all of your trigo functions or circular functions are positive. Quadrant 2, si sine lang ang positive at syempre yung counterpart ni sine which is cosecant. Sa quadrant 3, tangent lang ang positive. Sa quadrant 4, cosine lang ang positive. ASTC or all stem take calculus. ASTC. All stem take calculus. O diba? Dalin tandaan. Ganun lang. Siya, um, yun muna ha. Um, tandaan nyo muna yung mga yun. Kumbaga, hawakan nyo muna sila unit circle. We already discussed the unit circle back uh, then. And we've already derived the formula, which is x squared plus y squared equals 1. This is actually uh, the uh, a modification of your Pythagorean theorem. Whereas the C value is just 1. Kasi ang radius natin for the unit circle is just 1. So these are the different points in the unit circle. Uh, we have 1 half, square root of 3 over 2, and so on. So this is just one quadrant of the unit circle. Um, tell me if it's a lot to take in. Ah. I will slow down. Okay. Now. Our equation is x squared plus y squared equals 1. I just would like you to see na tama itong equation na to for all points in the circle. Um, let's choose one point. Ito kunwari, piliin natin. Let's use 1 half and square root of 3 over 2. So here, this is your x value and your y value. Substitute natin doon. Dapat equal to 1 ang makukuha natin. Ha? So we have 1 half squared plus the quantity of square root of 3 over 2 squared, which is equal to 1. So if you have your calculators, diretso mag-type ka na lang. Kung wala naman, magka-halq po tayo. I'll have 1 over 4 plus... Mm, 3 over 4, which is equal to 1. Ayan, tama. Kasi magiging tong 4 over 4 equals 1. And 4 over 4 is 1 equals 1. Yay! Tama! So, we have proven that these points are parts of the unit circle because this is the equation of the unit circle. Ayan lang. Uh, I just wanted to show you that. And this is how the unit circle looks like as a whole. Yes, ito po yung pag-aaralan natin. And the good news is, you don't have to memorize it. Ayan. Ako naman mismo, Diyos ko, ayoko ayoko mag-memorize. No? So you don't have to memorize this. Why would I put that much pressure on you, di ba? Ayoko din kayo ma-stress. So I will just be teaching you tips and tricks. So one method is by hand, magic hand style. And then another is by calculator, okay? So you will have a five-minute break because it's almost 8 o'clock. After five minutes, we will be talking about the, one, the unit circle. I never made it, but I know I 